Shalom, shalom, brothers and sisters. I'm coming back to you right quick. Drink that real cranberry juice. You hear me? You gotta get the real deal. Throw that other fake stuff away. <laughs> I had to throw it away. <laughs> but uh, let's touch on this resurrection. I don't hear nobody out there, nobody teaching on the resurrection. So uh, get your pencils, get your papers. I got to do another service in a few minutes. But I want to be able to feed you guys too. So get a, a pencil and a paper. And once again, go along with me. Blow that dust off your Bible. And let's get some knowledge out of the word of the Most High God. Now I hear a lot of my Christian brothers out there talking as if when uh, who the world called Jesus Christ came on the earth that he did away with the laws. That's because they don't know their Bible, brothers and sisters. I can break that down for you real quick. Just two, two precepts. John chapter 1 verse 17 For the law was given by Moses but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. That's John 1, 17. But remember, you always got to precept your Bible to get the understanding of what even John 1, 17 is saying. Now in John 1, 17, it says, For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Now according to the Bible, you got to find out what truth is according to the Bible. So now you want to go to Psalms 119, 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth, and thy law is the truth, and thy law is the truth. So now when you go back to John 1, 17, you'll get the understanding of what it's meaning, what it's saying. In John 1, 17, for the law was given by Moses, but grace and the law came by Jesus Christ. Why did grace come with the law in the New Testament? So God can remove stoning. People, did, they got a chance to repent in the New Testament. I hope I made that easy for some of you out there. In the New Testament, now we got a chance to repent. In the Old Testament, you didn't have a chance to repent. You were stoned to death. So let's get a little understanding of the resurrection. Let's go to the book of John. Go to the book of John, chapter 5. We still got people coming on this channel talking about Jesus didn't exist. You're going to the moon. We're going to get enough of you guys on the moon. Well, you, can, you know what? You know how you know that's a demon? Everybody that believes that Jesus don't exist, why don't they stay on the Jesus don't exist channel? Why do they got to go out there and try to convince other people he don't exist? Because they are a devil. And they're working for their daddy, the devil. So all of you out there, just stay on your Jesus Not Real channel. Because if you come on here, I'm going to get Luigi to send you to the moon. Come on up out of here. Let's go to our Bible. Let's go to the book of John. John chapter 5. John chapter 5. John chapter 5. John chapter 5. We want to start it. We want to start at verse 20. Let's, let's go up. John chapter 5, verse 25 to 30. Go along with me. John 5, 25, 30. Verse 25. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming, and now is, when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live. Verse, that means that the other people that's dead not going to hear his voice. Verse 26. For as the Father had life in himself, so have he given to the Son to have life in him in himself. Verse 27. And have given him authority to execute judgment also. Because he is the Son of Man. Verse 28. Marvel not at this. For the hour is coming. In the which all that are in the grave shall hear his voice. Verse 29. And shall come forth. They that have done good unto the resurrection of life. 
and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. Verse 30, I can, I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge. And my judgment is just because I seek not my own will. Because I seek not my own will, we're going to come back here. This is Yeshua, who the world calls Jesus, saying, I seek not my own will, but the will of the Father which hath sent me. But the will of the Father which hath sent me. But the will of the Father which hath sent me. Verse 31. If I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. Verse 32. There is another that bears witness of me. And I know that the witness which he witnesses of me is true. Talking about the Most High. So now, here we have, I'm just going to use the name Jesus. I know his name is Yeshia that I use. Here he's talking about that there's going to be a resurrection. And in verse number 29, he says, and some people are going to come forth. And shall come forth, verse 29. They that have done good unto the resurrection of life. And they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. This is the book of John chapter 5 and verse 29. Talking about the resurrection. That the people that have done good are going to come forth to the resurrection of life. And they that have done evil to the resurrection of damnation. Can we find this in the Old Testament? For all of those out there that don't know how to precept their Bible, who just want to take the Bible and throw it in the trash, the New Testament. Can we precept this in the Old Testament? Yes, we can. Let's put the proper precept with this to get the understanding of the resurrection. Those that have done good unto the resurrection of life and those that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. Let's put this thing together, brothers and sisters. Go to Daniel chapter 12. Go to Daniel chapter 12. Daniel chapter 12. Go to Daniel chapter 12. And we're going to start at verse 1 and 2. Daniel chapter 12. Verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered. Every one that shall be found written in the book. Verse 2. Verse 2 is the precept for the book of John. We're going to go back there. Daniel chapter 12 and verse 2. Let's go. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. This is Daniel chapter 12 and verse 2. Now let's go back to the book of John chapter 5. Go back to the book of John chapter 5. We're applying Isaiah chapter 28 verse 9 and 10. We back at Daniel chapter 5. Daniel chapter 12, I mean Daniel chapter 12 and verse 2 told you that some people, they're going to be resurrected. Some to everlasting, those who have done good to everlasting life. And that those that have done evil to shame and everlasting contempt. It's saying the same thing right here in John chapter 5 and verse 29. Listen. And shall come forth, they that have done good unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. This is John chapter 5. And verse number 29, John 5 and 29, right next to it, you want to put the proper precept, is Daniel chapter 12 and verse 2. So this is Torah being requoted. Now, let's go down. Let's go down where we want. 
Let's go back to verse number 29. And we're going to read down. Verse 29. And shall come forth, they that have done good unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. Verse 30. I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge. And my judgment is just. Because I seek not my own will. Because I seek not my own will. Because I seek not my own will, but the will of the Father which has sent me. But the will of the Father which has sent me. But the will of the Father which has sent me. We go to precept verse 30. I'm going to read John chapter 5 and verse 30 one more time. And then we're going to go and get to what the will of the Father is according to the Bible. John 5 and 30. I can of my own self, this is Jesus Christ talking, who the world calls Jesus, it's in red. I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge. And my judgment is just, because I seek not my own will. So who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ right here, Yeshua, Hamashiach, right here? He's saying, I seek not my own will. I seek not my own will. But the will of the Father which has sent me. I seek not my own will, but the will of my Father which has sent me. Now let's go to Psalm 40 and 8 and let's get the precept for what is the will of the Father which has sent him. Psalm 40 and 8. For all of those out there that don't believe he was walking, keeping the laws of God, we're going to prove it. Psalm 40 and 8. Psalms 40 and 8. Psalms 40 and 8. Let's go. I delight to do thy will, O oh my God. I delight to do thy will, O oh my God. Yea, thy law is written in my heart. Thy law is written in my heart. So over in John chapter 5 and verse 30, you want to take and put the proper precept right next to that is Psalms 40 and 8. Psalms 40 and 8 is the will of the Father. This Psalms 40 and 8 can also be broken down in the prayer. In the prayer. Those of you that want to do the will of the Father, it's in Psalms 40 and 8. Yeshia in verse 30 said, I seek not my own will, but the will of the Father which has sent me. Once again, the resurrection unto life and the resurrection unto death is also precept in Daniel chapter 12 and verse 2. That goes hand in hand right here with John chapter 5 and verse 29 is your proper precept for that. That is the resurrection. We can go deeper. Go to Revelation chapter 20. Revelation chapter 20. Revelation chapter 20, the resurrection. At a later date, I'm going to go deeper into this. But right now, I'm just touching on the surface. Revelation chapter 20 and verse number 12 goes a little bit deeper into the resurrection. Revelation 20 and 12. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. What? The dead people standing before God? Yeah, God brought them back alive again. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books, you see the S on the end? The books, the books, the books with the S on the end were open. And another book was open. So you had one set of books with the S on the end, meaning more than one. And then you had another book open which is the book of life. So the book of life is only one book, but it talks about other books with the S on the end. Brothers and sisters, this is a breakdown right here that there are more people going to die the depth of damnation and hell than it is that are in the book of life. In the book of life is only one book, but the book of the dead right here got an S on the end. 
And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books, and the books, and the books were open. And another book, and another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. According to their what? According to their works. According to their what? According to their works. So according to Revelation chapter 20 and verse 12, everybody on the earth, good and bad, are going to be judged according to their works. I'm sorry. You're not going to just get in by grace. Revelation 20 and 12 just shot that down. You're going to be judged according to what you do and what you don't do. Don't that make sense? Aren't you evaluated on your job every six months or once a year according to what you do and what you don't do? Everything on earth, from baseball, basketball, and football, to racing cars, to going down snow, uh, snow slopes, to doing everything on earth, you judge according to what you do and what you don't do until you become a Christian. When you become a Christian, there's no more judging of what you do and what you don't do. There's no more accountability for your actions. You just willy-nilly serve God, huh? But that's not in the Bible. So you're going to give an account for your works. Everybody's going to be judged according to their works. Let's find out what some of these works are. Go. I haven't been in 1 Samuel in a long time. Let's go to 1 Samuel, chapter 8. Let's look at some of what some of the works are that people do. 1 Samuel chapter 8, and we want verse 7 and 8. 1 Samuel chapter 8, verse 7 and 8. Let's look at one type of works. And the, Verse 7, And the Lord said unto Samuel, Hearken unto the voice of the people, in all that they say unto thee. For they have not rejected thee, but they have rejected me that I should not reign over them. Verse eight, according to all the works which they have done since the day with, that I brought them up out of Egypt unto this day. Let's see what kind of works they did, they did. Wherewith they have forsaken me and served other gods, so do they also unto thee. Serving other, other gods is a type of work. Why? You praying to it, you bowing down to it, you believe in it for miracle signs and wonders, you believe in it to help find your keys. <laughs> you believe in the God that you serving for things, benefits. <laughs> so you work it. That's one type of work. This is called wicked works. Now. <laughs> Go to Psalms 141 and 4. Let's get a second precept. Psalms 141 and 4. Psalms 141 and 4. Psalms 141 and 4. You ready? Let's go. Incline not my heart to any evil thing. To practice wicked works. To practice what? Wicked works. To practice what? Wicked works. This is Psalms 144 and 4, letting you know that there is a thing called wicked works. So over in Revelation chapter, what was that, 20 and 12, we're going to be judged according to our works. Some people are going to be judged according to their wicked works, and others are going to be, going to be judged according to their righteous works. You're going to give an account. Let's go to Revelation 22 and 14. Let's get a second witness on us being judged according to our works. Revelation 22 and 14. Let's go. Blessed are they that do his commandments. That do his what? Commandments. This is a type of righteous works. That they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. What? Go to verse 12. Revelation 22 and 12. 
And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. According as his work shall be. This is in red. This is Revelation 22 and 12. Once again, you have righteous works, Psalms, you have righteous works, and you have wicked works. Wicked works is spoken of in Psalms 141 and what? Psalms 141 and 14, and four I mean. Psalms 141 and four. Wicked works is spoken of there. You got 1 Samuel 8 and 8. Tells you that worshiping other gods is wicked works. Let's get one more, Isaiah 59 and 6. Isaiah 59 and 6. Remember you have righteous works and wicked works. Isaiah 59 and 6. You ready? Their web, their web, their webs shall not become garments, neither shall they cover themselves with their works. Their works are works of iniquity, and the act of violence is in their hand. Their works are the works of iniquity. They're going to be paid for their works of iniquity. I pray that this short message on the Resurrection spoken of in the book of John and also in the book of Daniel. That the will of the Most High God is spoken of in Psalms 40 and 8. And at a later date, I'm going to go deeper into the resurrection. And who's going to be resurrected for what purposes and where they go. So, right now we understand what I just showed you. Who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ did the will of the Father. Psalms 40 and 8. What we just understood right here is that we're going to all, no matter what religion you belong in, you're going to be judged according to your works. Don't let nobody continue to lie to you and deceive you that because if you belong to this religion or that religion, you automatically go into heaven. That's a lie from the pits of hell. You can't find it nowhere in this book. I'm sorry. It's nowhere in the Bible. Oh, unless it's, you added something. <laughs> but if you add or take away one word, what happened? You bring yourself on, a, you put a curse on you. And then when you add one word or take away one word, you, you cursed. You cursed. Your ministry is cursed. Everybody that's listening to you is cursed. Because now you adding and saying God said when he didn't say it. This is the pattern that he gave us to read and study the Bible. He don't want to hear us say, I believe. The most I don't care what you believe or what I believe. I believe going to get a lot of preachers in hell. Because it's not in the word of God. Show me I believe in here. Preacher such and such and said, I believe. Where's that? Can somebody show it to me? I, I, you know, I studied the Bible a long time. I haven't read it here. I believe. But I have read what thus says the Lord. What thus says the Lord. Elder Iyo from One Nation, One Power. Some are going to be resurrected unto shame and everlasting contempt. Some are going to be resurrected, resurrected into damnation. And those of us that have done good, doing good is keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. According to the Most High God, not me. You're going to be resurrected to life everlasting. But we all go stand before the judgment. Go back to Revelations 20 and 12. You're not going to get away from this. We all going to stand right here. Revelations 20 and 12. Let's start. At verse 11 and 12. We all go in here. I don't care if you're black. I don't care if you're white. I don't care if you're brown. I don't care if you're orange. I don't care what color you call yourself. You go in here. Revel Revelations 20, 11 and 12. And I saw a great white throne. And him that sat on it. From whose face the earth and the heaven fled away. This Revelation 20 and 11. If the earth, if the earth, 
and the heavens can't look at the face of the Most High? Do you think we can? I'm going to read this again. And I saw a great white throne and him that sat on it from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away and there was found no place for them. Verse 12. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God and the books were open. Those books with the S on it are reference to the book of the dead. And another book, singular, was opened, which is the book of life. And, they, and the dead were judged out of the things which were written in the books according to their works. Verse 13, and the sea gave up the dead which were in it. And death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged every man according to his works. Verse 14, and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. Verse 15, and whosoever was not found written in the book singular of life was cast into the lake of fire. If you go back to verse 12, you'll see a book mentioned singular and you'll see books mentioned plural more than one. So in the books, plural more than one, those are the names of the people that are going to be cast into the lake of fire. In the singular book are the ones that walk and they're going to be judged according to their works. I'm going to be judged according to my works. You're going to be judged according to your works. And the will of the Father, Psalms 40 and 8. I delight to do thy will, O God, yea, thy law is continually in my heart. We're going to all give an account. That day coming, and coming faster than you think. This is Elder Ayo from One Nation, One Power. Shalom.